My name is Ariella Paskin Owens, and I do work trade at the Clay Co op in exchange for my membership here. <laughs> what it is, is a wacky group of a lot of people who really like playing with mud. All different kinds of people find this weird, like, refuge in the mud, which I think is pretty powerful. It's a pretty close little community, so you see a lot of people. A lot of familiar faces. So initially you're gonna start with a ball of clay um, and if it hasn't been worked already you want to wedge it which is the process of working it to get out all the extra air bubbles. Smack it onto the middle of the wheel or as close to center as you can. <laughs> and uh, a lot of people use a process called coning where they force the clay with pressure up and then they force it back down and that will also like get rid of air bubbles and um, but also works to center the clay. So once the clay is centered you can tell because you can rest your hand on it while the wheel is spinning and it's not moving. So then you're like okay. You want to take your two thumbs and basically press them down into the middle and that's opening up your clay. After that, you take your hands and you want to kind of pull at about like 4 o'clock. And that process opens the ball to where you can start pulling up cylinder walls. It's applying pressure from the outside to follow the line that your hand is setting on the inside. So that's pretty cool and that's really important. Once you can throw a cylinder, you can pretty much throw anything, everything starts with a cylinder. You wait for it to dry until it's leather hard. Glazing is my favorite part because the, like, I'm not a scientist, I'm not a chemist, but mixing the colors and you never know the outcome and if the piece makes it even to the stage where you can glaze it, that's something to celebrate. So glazing is like the cherry on top. It's always really exciting to see it when it's finished. Once you glaze your piece, it gets fired again and then it's all finished. A lot of the times you can just let your brain wander and your hands will do it. And that's why I got into it. It's such a, just such a good way to meditate and like not think, but also work with your hands and be productive and like make something.